parasites are almost everywhere in the water, food, soil and air. They can infect almost all living organisms and consume resources from their host. Parasites found on the skin, like ticks, are called ectoparasites. Others found inside the body, like worms, are endoparasites. Among these, gut parasites are found in the digestive tract of humans and animals. But why are parasites important? They control host population, shape food webs, and even indicate ecosystem health. However, climate change could disrupt these roles, harming hosts and people and increasing the risk of zoonoses. Zoonoses are human diseases of animal origin that are a growing threat to global health. Still, both gut parasite diversity and distribution patterns are poorly studied, especially in remote regions. My thesis was supported by the Blue Young Talent Plus Scholarship and carried out in a collaboration with the research group focused on studying the biodiversity of deserts and arid regions. We asked, how does gut parasite diversity change with the aridity and habitat using a terrestrial omnivore, the guinea baboon, and a freshwater carnivore, the West African crocodile, as host models? You may wonder why these two hosts? Despite living in different habitats, both are top predators that play an essential role in the ecosystem. A total of 258 stool samples were collected from West Africa, from the desert in the north to the more humid region in the south. We used metabarcoding, a technique that identifies species by analyzing short DNA regions that differ between species. Term sequencing refers to reading the order of DNA letters or bases, and we then matched our results to a database of known parasites. We also used the aridity index which is a measure of how arid or humid an area is. About 12 gut parasite species were detected in Guinea baboons and about 13 in West African crocodiles. We also detected several gut parasites that can infect humans, including Blastocystis hominis found in both hosts. In rare cases, this parasite can even be life-threatening. Additionally, gut parasite tritions decreased more sharply with increased aridity for the terrestrial host. This is likely because parasites struggle more on land than in water, emphasizing the need for the further research on uh, host diet and how parasites spread. This study provides valuable insights into parasite diversity, preservation and ecology, but it also raises an important question. What about the people living in these areas? Could they already be infected?